Senator Bass and uh, Senator Oroba, please take your seats. Now, the result of the division is as follows. Charge number one, ayes 54, nays 13, abstention zero. So the high eyes have it. Charge number two, eyes 28, nays 39, abstention zero. So the nays have it. Charge number three, eyes 19, nays 45, abstention three. So the nays have it. Charge number four, the eyes at 51, nays at 16, abstention at zero, the eyes have it. Charge number five, eyes 49, nays 16, abstention two. So the eyes have it. Charge number six, eyes at 48, nays at 18, abstention one. So the eyes have it. Charge number seven. The eyes 13, nays 53, abstention one. So the nays have it. Charge number eight. Eyes 27, nays 40, abstention zero. So the nays have it. Charge number nine. Eyes 46, nays 20, abstention 1. So the eyes have it. Charge number 10, eyes 22, nays 45, abstention 0. The nays have it. Charge number 11, the eyes 18, nays at 47, abstention 2. So the nays have it. Now, honorable senators, the result of the division indicate that the Senate has upheld the following impeachment grounds. One, gross violation of articles 10 to A, B, and C, 27 7331A, and 2B, 751C, and 129.2 of the Constitution, and Article 147.1, as read together with Article 131.2 C and D of the Constitution. Four, gross violation, ground number four, gross violation of Article 161 of the Constitution on the institutional and decisional independence of judges. Ground number five, gross violation of Articles 3.1, and 148.5a of the Constitution and the fidelity to the oath of office and allegiance. Ground number six, serious reasons to believe that His Excellency the Deputy President has committed crimes under sections 13.1a and 62 of the National Cohesion and Integration Act. Ground number nine, gross misconduct that is incompatible with the high calling and dignified status of the office of the Deputy President and a member of the Cabinet and the National Security Council. His Excellency, the Deputy President, has publicly attacked and undermined work of the National Security Intelligence Service and its officers. Now, Honorable Senators, pursuant to Article 145.7 and 151b and 2 of the Constitution, and Standing Order 78.8 of the Senate, the Senate has resolved to remove from office by impeachment His Excellency Rigathi Gashagwa AGH, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Accordingly, His, Ex His Excellency Rigathi Gashagwa AGH ceases to hold office. I thank you.